fiddly fondle here, and I'm going to show you a new emulator that's been on Android for a while now. So this is called Fulroid, an all-in-one emulator app for Android. So you can mark your favorites here, and you'll be able to find them easier. You can search up your favorite emulators or search up a ROM file to use as a directory. Here you can view all the systems that you can use. So I have Nintendo Entertainment System here. There's one game, The Legend of Zelda for NES. And then here. So everyone, this is the most important thing. When you go to the top where it says ROMs here, you'll see the directory file. This says The Legend of Zelda, TLOZ for short. So this button right here, you can use it to... The one that's highlighted in gray, you can use it to scan for emulator ROMs on your phone or Android device, and it will scan for games that are compatible with this app. So here, you're gonna, you're gonna, everyone, you're gonna need to add a file to a folder and extract it on your Android device to be able to use it. So this, I'm using the Legend of Zelda. We're gonna tap Use This Folder, hit Allow. And it should automatically add your game to your list. If it didn't, it means you either don't have a compatible game with the app or your phone's out of date or the game or app's out of date. So make sure that's correct. So we're going to do rescan. It won't do anything for me because I already have a directory selected. Here you can do gamepad settings. You can do display filter. Change cores. Factory reset, BIOS, detect bio files or apps that could harm. So, here we're going to play Legend of Zelda, because why not? This is Legend of Zelda. So, this is called Legend of Zelda. You can register your name or eliminate your character we're gonna register we're gonna enter my nickname which is f i go to d two d's you do l e y and then select until you go to register hit select so i have a file selected so now we're gonna go to quit so everyone, if you're in a game on this emulator, if you're on it, so go back on, this is the game menu. So here, the one that's highlighted in gray, you can save. Here, you can load from a save file that you saved a little while ago. Here, from the game that's emulated on the app, you can exit to the main menu to do a different game. This will restart your game or known as a reset. This, that I just enabled, this will mute, this right here will mute your game or app that you selected. This, you can fast forward it so that it will go faster so that you don't have to like worry about any slow parts. Here, you can edit the gamepad controls or selection on the gamepad. Here, you can go to settings, so you can do crop horizontal overscan, crop vertical overscan, or no sprite limit, so we're going to go back. We're gonna go to load, so you see save states 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's how many you can have total. So we're gonna save our progress to state 1. Go to load, we're gonna go to state 1, it should just be the same thing. We're gonna edit controls a little bit. We're gonna put them there. We're gonna hit done. We're gonna go to settings, we're gonna go to quit. And we're going to select a different directory file. So we're going to go to my phone. So scroll down until you see a file that says emulators. You go to NES, downloads, hit this, this file. And then that should be the Super Mario Bros. 2 NES game. Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And... Subscribe to my channel for more information. Hope you have a good evening.